Tony's my time, it's my time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony, and these are the mods. Mod time! Welcome to Mod Time. It is Wednesday, the 19th of October. A few interesting mods today. Some updates, let's get to them. We're going to start off with Crop Rotation. Got an update. Oh, let's go back. I'm going to skip it. Change Log Crop Rotation Planner added, which is actually a great UI update. Precision Farming DLC is not required anymore. Again, that is excellent. And a small update to yield factors up to a 5% difference. So if you're doing crop rotation, you want some realism. The UI on this is really cool. I would suggest checking it out. And you don't have to use Precision Farming with it. Just do regular crop rotations. That is awesome. Great update. Give it a shot. Got a couple additions to Maze Plus, the animal and this. As you can see, it's a large update. Bunch of small quality stuff. Tension belts at the study mill. Uh, you know, updated some things in XMLs. Translations. The ecosystem. Prices and filling qualities of the Doika stuff. Uh, carrot palette and IBC for water. Filtered water and molasses work for productions and greenhouses. Minor bugs in the I3Ds. Compatibility of all the bale pallets, the bales and stuff for universal auto load. You can now mow crops at non-harvestable state, which is interesting. Simplified relationships between recipes and feeding slider. Gonna have to test that out. Motion paths and fill types and all that good stuff. Weight displays. Gonna make it better. I suggest updating if you use Maze Plus. Polish fertilizer pallets. They added Polifosca 6. I'm not sure how Polifosca 1 through 5 was, but they've added number 6. So... Get that updated. NetRef add-on got an update. Added new brands for the John Deere and the Crone. Massey Ferguson 2013 and Voucher BDF 1300 got an addition. Added distributor version for seeds. This version has no speed limiter. Fast. It's up to the player to define it at their discretion. So we had this in 19. It's a it's a spreader that'll do that'll do seeding. You can go as fast as you want. Um you know, this one says 20 meters, or 36 meters. There's a 20 meter. I think that old one in 19 was like 50 meters. It was insane. But now if you want to seed fast with the seeder, cheaply, there you go. New mods. IBC tank fix. Basically, this corrects the tanks, the IBC tanks, to have a tap so that you can put them in a silo, a liquid silo. So they will go into a production or a silo. You don't have to have a tank. You bring this over, lift it up a little bit probably, and dump it in. Awesome fix. PC only, of course. Another PC only mod is the automatic watering system. This one is going to take some testing. Adds the options to automatically enable watering in factories and productions. So you don't have to do it manually. You have to bring a tanker over there. Water fees are charged automatically. And can be found in the category production costs. So you get to enter the production window, select the material water, and press enter on the activate automatic irrigation as you see in the pictures. Don't know if this works on animal pastures. It would automatically feed animal the water to the animals. They technically I think they're production. I don't know. Test it out. You guys let me know. Yay or nay. But it's pretty cool anyway. Lime Contracts, another PC-only mod. We've been waiting for this one for a while. Hopefully this works pretty good. You can get Lime Contracts now. So the other day we got Rolling Contracts. Now we got Lime Contracts. Going to be something again to test out. See how this all works within the system. If we get Lime Contracts, if it removes others. This one does not say like the rollers that it interferes with another contract. So hopefully this one works. We can all do some Lime Contracts. So we got a tree nursery. This one is for all platforms. It produces you, boxwood, agave, and bamboo. Inputs are water, manure, seeds, and wood chips. 15 grand. Pretty cheap. Selling point is 1,000. So this is going to produce like a pallet of a different tree. The you, boxwood, agave, and bamboo. So when I first saw this, I saw agave. You know what I'm talking, chat. Tequila. Yes, we need tequila. Somebody get on a tequila factory that we can put agave in and make tequila. So we have a timber plantation. This one is PC only. Logs produced from seedlings. So it's got boosters of manure and herbicide. 
six meter lengths can be removed from the revamp logo. So you're going to need revamp. You're going to need that to go with it to make sure it works. It's 10 grand when built. You put two seedlings in. Manure, again, herbicide is a boost, and you get 750 wood. So you need the seeding pallets from the production revamp productions. Large greenhouse are compatible. So you can do a uh, production for the seed. Uh, yes, uh, hard. You can do a production for the seedling pallets and then a production for the wood. So you can go from seedling to wood in two productions. Or you can buy it. Next, we got an old shelter. Old German style. It's 25 grand. It's good looking. Pretty, pretty good size for the price. Concrete production. This is all platforms. Very, very cool. Added limestone, sand, and gravels, additional fill types. So you got a concrete pallet. You got lime boxes. Limestone can be purchased in bins at the store and ground into lime at the thing. Lime can also be purchased at the store in bulk. Bins of lime will be produced, or the lime can be stored in bulk at the concrete production plant to produce concrete pallets. So it says to have the lime stored in the silo and not produce the, the bins that you see, you got to change it to distributing so it won't be kicking out boxes of lime. Also grind stones into sand. Interesting. And gravel can be made from stones with sand as a byproduct. So it's got a sell point for 50 bucks. It's got the bins, the limestone bins, and the production is 296 grand. It's a cool looking building. If you want to do a little bit of like kind of mining, it's pretty neat. I got a large cow shed, 230, 115 grand holds 230 cows. It's an interesting looking building. It's very square, but it is cool looking. It does hold 230 cows and it's not that expensive. Next, we got the lizard P431 and P441. I mean, it's a three meter. And a 1.8 meter weeder. I mean, those are small weeders. 500, 750 bucks. The New Holland T8 US. You got four engine variations there. It starts at 287 grand, goes from 351 to 435 horsepower. All your tires, all your US hitches and front fenders, all your US stuff. The New Holland T8 US. And then lastly, we got the T, or excuse me, the Lizard 1313 and bodies. There's a lot in this pack. It's probably better if we just go and look at it in game. There we are. Go down to our mods. Find it. So you got the one, or 1313 is 20 grand. Only goes up to 280 horsepower, which is not that big. But then you got the 1313 Monk. And this has a crane on it. As someone pointed out, a very SnowRunner esque. But you got the 6.2, the 1, the 2. If you can see the different changes, let's, let's zoom out a little bit there. You're just changing your tires there. That one changes your axles. Slides it back and forth there. You got all kinds of, you know, tents, air entrance, cabin, high cab, low cab, high cab, low cab, panels. I don't know what all this stuff does. The front, you got the grills, the ladders. I mean, you got more options on this than I even know what to do. Internal detail, there's a hammer. So you go up to your end. This one has the crane. This one's got a hook lift. Again, varying options here. All kinds of stuff, different colors, lots of lots of colors. Then you got different bodies with it. That's where it's going to get interesting. 12 to 13 and a half. I mean, it's a good size bed. Looks nice. Then you got your body works. This one's 17.9 to 26. Hold your base crop seeds and uh, and fert there. The monk, 10.9 to 23.5. Now, I'll be honest, there's a lot of different combinations for these. And I fiddled around on them a little bit. And it's a little confusing, I'll be honest. 
It's a platform. It's got ramps. Drive stuff on there. You got your roll-ons. Twenty-five thousand. This holds basically everything. That's good looking though. Your body work four by twos. You got the big bag support. Here's your big bag for seed and solid fur, which the crane will pick up. It's pretty cool. And then this clabbered, it says it's used as a kind of makeshift ramp on the side of one of the body works. I haven't figured it out. I've tried. If you get it to work, you let me know. But let's just try one of these out. Problem with these is that they are confusing. So there's two different versions there. So let's just lease both. Which body goes with which version? You got a bail trailer. Your standard. We're going to get the standard. And let's go see if we can hook them up. So you can see that one's slightly longer. Not much. They might be the same. I don't know. Yeah, see, that one does not give me the prompt to attach. Let's try that one. And that one does. So you have to make sure you have the right chassis, kind of like those... Uh, there's other trucks for the job. Now, this does have a lot of control groups. Um, you can unfold the tipper. So, let's see if I can change our control groups. Mooring straps. I don't know what mooring straps are. It's doing something. I don't know what, though. Unlock lock clabbered. This is where you're supposed to do the those boards, but I could not get them to work. Mirror adjust, right window, left window, cabin light, control group. I don't even know what that means. Active disactive charge. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to operate the uh, the crane. And then we're back to the back door. Mooring straps. Lower axis. Let's try that. Oh, there we go. How do we lower those... Lower winch. Why are we off the ground? That's interesting. Lifting our axis. There we go. V lowers our winch. So we're all tidied up there. Controls do take some getting used to. We extend out. So let's get ourselves one of those big bags. We want one of these, yes. And one of these, oops. And of course, we're on the other side.
So it says we can pick up the seeds. All right, well that's not working as it as intended. That's what you would need right there. And apparently I folded up my There we got that support going. Now that's supposed to go on there. I don't know why it does it with it, without it, but not with it. Very odd. All right, so I can tension belt it that way and it will work. I can't drive. These controls are kind of inverted. Set it down on here, drive it, fill up your cedars. You guys will do it better than I will. You can't do any worse. Drop it. I don't know. This one's... It's kind of cool. The trucks, the bodies, and the control groups are a little confusing. I will say that. But they are cool looking. Put it down in the comments. You guys figure it out. Let me know what I did wrong. Because I obviously did a lot there. But if you like these videos, hit that like. Hit that subscribe. And until next time, that has been... Tony's my time. It's my time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony. And these are the mods. Fun time!